So today's session is going to be pretty short. Uh, we're going to be doing a solid edge simulation. Um, yep. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Let me know if you guys can see. I can see. Perfect. Okay. So I just made this, you know, very simple part right before this meeting. It takes two minutes to make it or two seconds, literally. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is showing how to do the simulation. So when you go into Solid Edge, we have the simulation tab across the top. Um, and you just simply select new study. Now, there are different types of studies that you can do. Linear static, which is just normal force. You know, you have normal modes, buckling. Um, Solid Edge also has heat transfer. Um, steady state or transient, so different mm -hmm. forms. So for today, I'm just going to be keeping a very simple example of linear static. Um, mesh type, we just keep it as tetrahedral, you know, basic study. Now you'll notice on the left, there's like a little interface that allows the user to really easily kind of apply the simulation and kind of see what you're doing. Um, you'll notice there's like a little piece of pie, you know, with one of them colored in. Um, and so it uh, lets you know like what you need to do to be able to have a successful, you know, uh, simulation. So first thing is I have to define a material. Let me just add a quick material. I will make this aluminum 1060 just for simplicity. Okay. And applied that. The geometry is already defined, but if you just wanted to make sure, just in case, it's already defined as well. Just click accept. Mm -hmm. Now the only thing left to do is add the loads and the constraint. So if you click right here, you can do different types. You can do structural, body, thermal, but in this case, I just want simple force. And I'm gonna apply it to right here. Now, I don't want it to go this direction. I want it to go in the opposite direction. So mm -hmm. I can simply select Flip. this right here, and it flips it. This, if you wanted to make it uh, normal to face, or if you wanted to make it custom direction, like in X, Y, Z, you wanted to define those specific, you would select this, and you can easily uh, type in like the coordinates that you wanted to go. If you wanted to uh, make it the arrows bigger or smaller or whatever, you can do yeah. it right here as well. If you wanted the label as well, I'm just going to go ahead and do 150 newtons and enter and the force is defined. Now the next thing is I need to add a constraint. So when I right click, I can create a new constraint fixed pin but since I have a hole I want to make a cylindrical and then I just select the cylinder and it defines it and then you can press enter or right click so the force and the constraint are defined notice how two out of the four um, mm, yep. pieces are colored in now all you have to do is mesh and solve so I click mesh and I will select mesh and solve. You'll notice there's a little toggle. Mm -hmm. You can make it finer or coarser. I don't want to make it more finer because it will take too take long to solve. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to do a simple mesh and solve. And all it's doing is simply breaking apart the model into tiny little elements that are in finite element analysis. So you can see, you know, based on the on the part, you would expect, you know, low stresses on the end and then very high stress you know along the joint or the corner mm -hmm. as you can see the scale right here you can also animate it right here by simply pressing animate yep Works and you'll notice it's sensible. yeah you'll notice you know it's a lot of stress right here in the in the corner now this is an exaggerated view so this is not an actual deformation. If you wanted to do actual, you simply select actual, and then you can do animate, and that's gonna be the actual 
So you see it's not actually moving that much. <laughs> no. A good piece of aluminum, yeah. Yeah. And so you could even save this as a movie if you wanted to kind of show someone or something, or, you know, if you wanted to send it to someone to, uh, for analysis or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. Now, um, this is good, but I want to analyze something else. I want to look at factor of safety. So you know how when uh, you make a part, right, and if it's not used correctly, like for example, if you make a table uh, that's only capable of handling like 50 pounds and then someone stands on it, well, you don't want it to break. You want it to have a certain factor of safety. So if you look at it's that. It's like design limit load and ultimate load and so on. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, you, can, you can look at the scale. You can even define like how you want the factor of safety, like what, what scale do you want it. So you can see what is the minimum factor of safety. In this case, it's 31.6. So like uh, if I wanted to make it, um, or sorry, my bad. Minimum, yeah, minimum value because you, we we want the minimum value of factor safety, you know, above certain thing, right? Mm. Um, so you could even define it like that. Like for example, if I make it one second, if I make this uh, thirty, and then I make this forty, you'll notice some of those regions are like yellow because I defined it like that. Like, so for example, if I make this, let's say 20, so, so it has different scales, you can change it as well. Um, and let's mm -hmm. see. Yeah, so you can uh, make different changes as well. And, you know, if you wanted to, you can go back uh, and change the model as well, and it'll give you different, um, different results as well. So very simple. Um, let me go ahead. And one last thing that I want to show you is, hold on, hold on. yeah, you can also create, you know, save this as a movie or an image. And then also you can create a report. With the report, you know, you can put in the title, author, company, or whatever, mm -hmm. date, and then introduction. You know, we tested it for stress, for factor of safety. It was good. And then you can create a format in HTML or document or whatever, and it will create a report for you. So if you want to do like a Word document or an HTML, you can even send this link to someone um, and it has all the links as well. Like for example, if we go to results, it will show you the picture and then the numbers as well. Mm -hmm. and so very easy to follow through. And you know, if you were doing like a report on a, for a customer or something like that, yeah, they quick. would really, it would be really you know useful for them as well. So that's about it for the simulation. I mean, we can go into a lot of details, but that's just the general basic simulation.